Hi everyone, welcome back to HowTech. Today we're going to show you how to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot on an iPhone 10, aka iPhone X. So this is actually similar to most other iOS devices. Uh, what you want to do is go to settings and then you want to go to personal hotspot, which should show up here. Uh, this may not show up if your SIM card, which is basically set up by your carrier, doesn't allow you to do uh, Wi-Fi hotspot sharing. So I think it's still uh, a thing on some carriers where they don't allow you to do that. And basically, if that's not allowed, the iPhone won't even show it as an option. Uh, but hopefully you can see it. And to set it up, uh, you need to have a SIM card in there that has a data connection. Otherwise, it will, it'll be grayed out. But assuming you can see it and it's not grayed out, touch that. And then it's basically uh, just an on-off switch here. So if it's off, turn it on. You can see that there's a default password in here and it's obviously something really complicated and random. So if you want to make that a little bit easier to remember, because remember the whole point of the hotspot is that you're sharing it with other devices, which means you need to put in this password. And it might not just be on your laptop, it might be a friend uh, who's using your data connection. So you have to be able to explain, okay, type in WN6Q, lowercase, blah, 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 all this stuff. So, so it's best if you uh, probably change this to something easy to remember. So just click on that and then you can type it in and it just says it needs to be at least eight characters long. So uh, you can just clear it and do that. I'll leave the same one in here. The only other thing is that it uh, uses the phone's name as the name of the uh, network. So in this case, new iPhone X. And uh, I'll show you really quick how to change that if you would like to change it. So go to back to settings, go to general, and then under here, go to about and then there's a name and then you can change the name. So that's how you change the name of your Wi-Fi hotspot uh, network. So the only other things that I wanna mention, there's a couple things uh, that are really important. So first of all, with iOS, these hotspots time out after a couple of minutes. So if you have something continuously connected to it, it should continue to work. But like if you check your, if you connect something to it, use it for a couple of minutes, then disconnect, uh, and then open that device again, uh, it probably won't be able to rediscover that network because after, say, five minutes of inactivity, the iPhone will turn off the network. And that's to save your battery and also for security purposes so that people just can't continually uh, try to log in and, and try to uh, hack into your phone or whatever. So just keep that in mind that uh, you may not, you may have to uh, come back here and turn it on again after you uh, already turned it on but then had it inactive. And that's a little bit annoying, but uh, there's a good reason why it's that way. Uh, one other important thing is how you can do it a little bit easier using the shortcuts. So on the iPhone X, AKA iPhone 10, um, you need to pull down and get to the uh, control panel. So on this phone, you go from the top right corner and pull down. And then if you use iOS 11, you should recognize this even if you don't have an iPhone X. Uh, but you can actually go to, this is the cellular connection. So if you just touch it, it turns off your, um, you know, your 3G or LTE connection. But uh, because this is a force, uh, force touch device, if you just hold this one down uh, and push a little bit, it brings up this uh, advanced, I guess, uh, uh, controller. And then you can actually control specific things, not just Wi-Fi on and off, not just airplane mode, but you can actually uh, turn on and off the hotspot right from here and you can also control airdrop uh, too. And notice also that when you have the uh, hotspot on, you're not connected to Wi-Fi anymore. It disconnects you obviously because you are uh, your own hotspot now. And also airdrop receiving is off because you're using the network for other things. So uh, that's kind of a downer. Um, so it's key to note that this is different than what you see on some Android phones is you can actually connect to Wi-Fi and then still be a Wi-Fi hotspot. So that let's say you're in a hotel room, you pay for one device to connect to the Wi-Fi in the hotel and you want to connect your other smart devices or your laptop or whatever through that one connection. You can do that on some, I, some Android devices, you can't do it on this one. So basically once you are in the hotspot mode, Wi-Fi is basically equivalently turned off uh, and then also AirDrop is off. So if I turn this one back on, these guys come back on. So anyway, keep that in mind, just a small caveat specific to this phone and also to iOS in general. 
Okay, that's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Please check out other how-to videos for the iPhone 10 and many other popular electronics here on Howtex. Bye. And push firmly and then pull this guy out gently. And again, make sure that you have the phone pointed face up. Uh, you don't want this thing to fall out on the floor.